Uh, I've been doing some diamond paintings just pretty recently. Um, I just kind of thought I would share my setup because uh, it seems to be something that other people have been looking at and was like, wow, that really looks kind of cool. So uh, typically uh, when I'm doing my drills, I do them in front of my TV, sitting on my couch, uh, not doing very much. I have a little wooden board. Um, before, I used to use a pizza box, which was actually kind of nice and comfortable. Of course, it was clean. Uh, very sturdy, very big enough, you know, that I can uh, move things around as needed and still have that hard structure underneath. Um, of course, I have my little containers here. But when I first start my containers, I take out the baggies that they come in. So I cut the tops off and I pour what I need to in this um, in order to make sure that these don't wipe off. I wipe, I write them on the inside. So to do that, uh, basically um, you take whatever your little simple is or whatever your number and sometimes they don't always look so good. So for this one I'm going to write say a three. So I put the three on the top, open it up. And then copy that three on the inside. So then when I'm done, I can wipe it off on the top. And I know it's really crappy, but I'm trying to do this one-handed, sorry. <laughs> but you get the idea. That's what it looks like. And again, it's not going to come off. So it does make it nice and neat, and that way you can reuse the same little containers each time without having sticky residue or multiple layers of, of tape. Once you're done, you just take your dry erase marker, cleaner, whatever, and wipe off the inside and start over for the next drill painting. So what's really cool is um, I take my little pop-up tape, and I have my uh, little art set up here with all my extra little trays that I've accumulated. and. Uh, right now, these are the Starry Night baggies that I've saved. And the reason why I saved the baggies is because on these baggies are a lot of different little uh, codes and stuff. So in case you do run out of these codes or later on down the road, uh, some of your, you know, diamonds have fallen off or whatever and you need to replace them, you know where to go to get it and you know what number and all that little tiny stuff that they need all those little codes and everything so I just take my little pop-up tape it works perfect because it's the perfect size for no matter what baggie and then when I need to I have a picture that I just hung up I thought it was set so perfectly and it didn't a couple of them fell uh, when I was dusting on it and so I can open them back up get whatever diamonds I need out of there and then seal it back up for later. And I just keep them in a container that they came in, the little bag that came with all the stuff. And then that way I know what's what. Um, and I can also label the bags and keep them in my extras. You know, everybody's got that extra drawer, that, that junk drawer. That's for everything and anything that has no particular use at any time. But when you need something, it's always there. So that's where these stay. Um, so it's just kind of a nice little setup to, to use what you've already got when it comes, you know, in the kit. And a nice little way to set everything up as you're using them, you know, and it's just my way. So I also have the wax here at the top, and um, basically I've set it there, you know, so that way when I take my, my pens, I can just take it and kind of pull on that, you know, I don't have to worry about that going anywhere. And like I said, it all stays in my nice little art box. So my art box is kind of my go-to for everything to stay in. And I only have Sharpies because on the back of my pictures, I sign them. So I sign them and I also put the title of whatever it is. Um, it's kind of like my way of keeping track of knowing what diamonds are for what, you know, because sometimes they all have different names. So this is just kind of my setup. And again, everybody has their own setups, but this is kind of my nice little way of doing this. Um, and I just thought it would be nice to share with other people. And again, my little setup here, um, I have another piece of, of the uh, wax that I keep to use uh, that, that holds my plastic down, so I'm not losing it. Um, but again, everybody has their own setup. So 
I've also got one that's setting right now. Um, hopefully the, the drills will stay nice and, and put this time. Uh, so that way when you clean them and, and take care of them in the future, they're not going to come off. Because personally, I don't like to set with Mod Podge or any kind of spray adhesives or anything like that. To me, I think it dulls the, the sparkle. And my boys grew up on Thomas the Tank Engine, so I'm all about the sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. You know, that's always been stuck in my head. So that's what we do these for. It's the sparkle. It's the beauty of it. So I've got one pressed right now, and it's on foam board as just kind of a, a background setting, I guess you could say. But I am kind of uh, experimenting with other ways to mount them and, and set them to make them look more natural because they don't give us much space between the actual picture and the grid so it doesn't make it for a very easy uh, you know working process and you get this nice little sticky stuff on the edge which sometimes every once in a while you get a hair or two because I've got little guys right here like my friend he's my buddy He's sitting next to my snacks right now because he thinks he's going to get some of them. But, um, yeah, sometimes cats, you know, what dust get in these things. So if you have any suggestions on how to set your, your drills to keep them from falling out, uh, I would really greatly appreciate the uh, comments of what's worked for you because, hey, I'm up for anything. So I'll share with you what works for me and share with me what works for you, you know. Oh, and isn't this the coolest little thing? It's my little uh, book light from the uh, Dollar Tree, of all places. It's a nice little thing to have to, to illuminate. So you don't have to illuminate from the bottom. You can illuminate from the top. And every so often I'll have a couple of these, one on the top, one on the side. That way I can illuminate whatever area I need. And like I said, I work in front of the TV. <laughs> I'm lazy. I don't want to sit at a table. I sit with my pizza box on my little wooden slab right in front of the TV and I binge watch Netflix or something and I diamond drill even at 2-3 o'clock in the morning if I wake up this is what I can do and I have my little lights that don't bother anybody and uh, I mean it, it's nice it's comforting it's relaxing so hey tell me what works for you and we can go from there and, and make this a, a better experience for everybody well and you have a great rest of your day bye guys